Hello everyone, this is Warhawk Beyond 2040 bringing to you some very sad and shocking news from the world of music where it has been announced and confirmed that legendary jazz pianist and composer Chick Corea has sadly passed away on February 9th 2021 at the age of 79 after a short battle with cancer and when the news broke out that Chick Career had indeed passed away. It hurts. It hurts me a lot because Chick Career has been one of my main jazz heroes for many, many years. And to hear the news that he is no longer with us hurts so much because when I was getting into jazz music in my younger years, one of the first guys I got into was, of course, Chick Corea. And to hear the news now that he is no longer with us has deeply saddened me so much. And it actually brought a tear to my eye because Chick Corea was more than just a great pianist. He was a great composer, band leader, arranger, you name it. He was everything. He was the whole package and it hurts so much even as I'm talking about this it still hurts because the news hasn't really sunk in so I thought I would put together this little tribute video and say a few words about one of the greatest musicians of all time and Chick Corea is in my Mount Rushmore of all-time great jazz musicians with Keith Jarrett, Pat Buffini and Miles Davis. That's my Mount Rushmore for jazz music and he was definitely in my big three with Muffini and Jarrett. What can you really say about Chick Corea? He's had one of the best careers you could ever ask or hope for and he burst onto the scene in the 60s and he's released 81 studio albums, if you can believe that. That's an impressive catalogue. And he's played with just about everybody you can imagine. He's collaborated with Bobby McFerrin. He was a member of the classic Miles Davis band back in the late 60s. And he's collaborated with fellow pianists Keith Jarrett, Herbie Hancock, McCoy Tyner... You know, he definitely is one of the most important musicians as far as the piano is concerned. And he's definitely up there with Bill Evans, Hancock, Tyner and Jarrett. And he's led lots and lots of great bands. Circle with Dave Holland, Origin, uh, The Vigil. And of course, how can we forget two of his most well-known and iconic ensembles of all time, Return to Forever and the Chick Corea Electric Band. Now, Return to Forever was one of the biggest jazz fusion bands of all time and up there with Mother Hitchner Orchestra and Weather Report. And Return to Forever made some of the most iconic music in the history of jazz fusion and he was a big part of that it started out as more of a bossa nova brazilian outfit with Eto Moreira and flora purim and joe farrell and then it later became the classic jazz rock outfit that we would come to know as and chick career was a big part of that and of course the classic lineup of return to forever as we all know is chick career stanley clark lenny white and al demiola and Chick Corea also worked with some of the greatest guitar players of all time. Al Demiolo, as I mentioned, Scott Henderson, Frank Gambale, Steve Vai, you name it. He's worked with them all. John McLaughlin, who he co-led a band called The Five Piece back in the early 2000s. Tremendous stuff. Chick Corea has never done any bad music in my eyes and I would say from 1985 all the way up to now was probably Chick Corea's greatest output of music he was just bringing out great album after great album year after year and he just got better and better and um, of course 
He introduced us to the electric band in the mid-80s with John Patitucci, Dave Weckl, Eric Marenthal, Frank Ambali and many other great young musicians along the way and they released a number of great classic jazz fusion albums from that period of the mid-80s to the early 90s and Chick Corea wasn't just tearing it up in the electric scene he was also tearing it up on the acoustic scene and he's had many many great acoustic projects how can we forget the classic Now He Sings Now He Sobs with the classic rhythm section of Miroslav Vitches and Roy Haynes the Chick Corea acoustic band with Dave Weckl and John Patitucci the Chick Corea new trio with Essencia Cohen and Jeff Ballard trilogy with Christian McBride and Brian Blade, you name it, this man has so many great bands and he's worked with so many unbelievable musicians and I remember the first Chick Corea album that I ever bought was Chick Corea Acoustic Band Alive and that was the first time I really got into Chick Corea's music I was already familiar with him with his earlier stuff but that album was the one that got me into Chick's music and I got into the electric band's music shortly after and a lot of my favourite musicians like John Patitucci and Dave Weckl and Eric Marenthal I found out about them through Chick Corea's electric band projects and as I said Chick Corea has an unbelievable knack for picking up great musicians and helping them to get better and he's also collaborated with Gary Burton and they released a number of classic albums throughout the 70s to the 90s up to the 2000s albums like Crystal Silence, Native Senses, New Duets, The New Crystal Silence which was a double edition with Disc 1 being a duo and Disc 2 being the duo with a string orchestra Wow, what an unbelievable career. And Chick Corea hasn't just done jazz and jazz fusion. He's also done classical music as well. He'd done the double piano concerto with Keith Jarrett in 83. And you name it, Chick Corea's done it all. He's worked with Bella Fleck. They released two albums. I could go on all day about how much great stuff this man has done. And... It was a great honour and privilege to see two of Chick Corea's most iconic ensembles return to forever in 2008 with the reunited classic lineup of Al Demiola, Stanley Clark, and Lenny White. Unbelievable show, one of the best concerts I've ever been to. And recently I went to see the Chick Corea Electric Band in 2017. Three straight hours of musical excellence and they only played seven songs but boy did they really pack a punch and the thing with Chick Corea which blew my mind was when I was first getting into his music I had never heard keyboards played in jazz because I was always under the impression that piano was in jazz and keyboards was in like rock music or rock and roll so hearing Chick Corea tearing it up on the keyboards in a jazz setting blew my mind and he was just doing unbelievable stuff because he was playing the keyboards but he was playing it like an electric guitar and he was just unbelievable just an absolute amazing player and some of my favorite albums like Ultimate Adventure Paints the World by Electric Band 2, Beneath the Mask Return to Forever Romantic Warrior, you know, um, Chick Corea Piano Portraits, Chick Corea Plays, which I just recently bought, not that long ago. You know, so much music. I mean, Chick Corea is literally a walking musical library. There's just so much stuff he's done, and I'm going to miss him. I'm going to miss him so much because he wasn't that far off from 80 years old and he didn't look his age he was a ball of energy he was playing this guitar and tearing it up on stage with the guitarist it was just an absolute joy to watch Chick Career perform and as I said I'm going to miss him so much 
but his music will definitely live on forever no pun intended and he will be sorely missed by everybody including myself and Chick Corea is one of the most decorated names of all time he's won 23 Grammys insane and deservedly so you know Chick Corea deserves all the accolades because he's earned it and all I'm going to say is before I wrap this up is thank you Chick Corea for all of the fantastic music you have given us over the years and a special thank you for delivering countless classic Return to Forever and Electric Band albums. You will go down as one of the greatest musicians of all time and your body of work and legacy will live on forever and your place in history is more than secured and a special thank you for all of the musical memories you have given us over the years and it was an honour and a privilege to watch you perform live with all of your great bands and thank you for everything that you have done and may you rest in peace.